Hey, what's up, y'all? We're back with another one. Let's check this clip out. K was talking. He was asked, is Kevin Durant the greatest uh, uh, men's basketball player in Olympic history? And so he said yes because of his longevity. Uh, what, what are your what are your thoughts on that, right? Coach and, K? And quickly, let me throw. I'm sorry. Quickly, Kevin Durant's career average in the Olympics dropped 19.7. I guess we could say 20 points now. He dropped to 23. Michael Jordan second at 16. Charles Barkley third at 15.4. Coach K, I hate to rain on your parade, but that plus two dollars and ninety cents will get you on the subway in New York. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> really, Coach K? Oh, my God. Kevin Durant is the greatest uh, USA basketball player ever. He averaged 20 points against nobody, against mostly nobodies, has been, never was his. It doesn't wait. Chris, the Olympics, basketball, they've been just said they have been going for their fifth gold medal in a row or whatever it is. It doesn't wait. Nobody cares about it from the standpoint it doesn't make you better in the eyes of the basketball world. It's still about the NBA. Carmelo Anthony had four medals, right? Three and he goals. He was the leading scorer until right. uh, KD. Yeah. And Chris, three goals and a bronze, and right. that didn't that didn't help him get a job in the NBA for two seasons or a year and a half. It Fair. didn't move the needle. Nobody was like, oh, my God, he's like unbelievable international play. How in the world don't we have a Carmelo Anthony on the roster? No. And it's, it's fine. You go there, you do your thing, Chris, but it doesn't give you any juice. I'm, I'm sorry. The, the international play, the team that they've beaten, that's why nobody makes a big deal about Michael Jordan and Charles Barkley. They're beating teams by 45 points with that dream team. Chris, that's not competition. If you told me and you painted a scenario – that Canada was our equal. I'm just giving you a team, Chris. Right. Canada was our equal. And Kevin Durant showed up and bust the chops of Canada. And you could name some of the great Canadian players and was like, my God, did you see what KD did against A, B, and C? And, and how they uh, the won the, the gold medal. That was incredible. It just doesn't rate. People don't have that kind of memories about it. And I'm not taking anything away from he's out there to play. He's doing what he does. He's one of the best scorers we've ever seen, hands down. All Rob. I'm saying is it just doesn't it doesn't move the needle to make people think any more of Kevin Durant other than what he's done in the NBA. That's my biggest point. I agree. I agree. Rob G and I were talking earlier, and the question was, does Kevin Durant being – I'm fine. If you want to – I mean, the way Coach K said it, Rob, was very innocuous because of his longevity. Right. That's what he sure. put first. If you played right. the longest, of course you're going to have right. more. He ain't better than Michael Jordan. I'm Thank sorry. You. In the Olympics. Jordan led in, in college. So now, Rob, if you want to say – if people want to compare now, and say, well, hey, the international game, they the players are way better. You can't compare it to 92 and 96 when we were destroying teams. That's fair. But Michael Jordan played in college. He was a college kid, or right out of college, but still college age, after his junior year, playing against grown men. So it was equivalent. I mean, I'm not here to argue. I don't care. To your point, I don't care that Michael Jordan's the greatest you know, Olympic basketball right. player ever, or Charles Barkley, or LeBron, or Durant, whoever. Who cares? You know when we care, Rob? When we lose. That's the only time that you... That's I, when we care. That's when there's a story, Chris. <laughs> I always say, right. wake me up when they lose, and then yep. we got a story and a conversation to have. Right. But we and, expect them to win. We and, expect Kevin Durant to score points against these right, other players. of course. I think I could go out there and get four points. I mean, really, I mean, seriously, though, with that squad. Hey, you know, I scored uh, so 10 easy. against Nancy Lieberman, so I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm joking about me. No, but, I know I, that. but, Rob, and here's what I'm my point. We only care if they lose because in 2008, people might object and say, well, hold on. We care about the redeemed team with LeBron and Kobe and Chris Paul and D Wade and all. You know why we care? Because we had lost. Four years earlier, we had to redeem ourselves, so we care about them. But the reason we care about them is because they lost the four years before. We care about 92 because we had lost in 88 with the college kids. And it was time to send the big boys over. And so, and Rob, come on. I mean, and again, this is taking nothing from KD because he is a phenomenal player and has been phenomenal in the Olympics. But, Rob, 
when you've got a team full of absolute superstars and they don't know who to put th- they can't put the defensive attention on anybody because kobe's out there or lebron's out right there. who it's do you Steph's not guard right right i'm sorry but it ain't that for these guys at their level this rob this i bet you the olympic games for kevin durant are the easiest adult basketball he's ever played the easiest adult basketball he's ever played and that's not to belittle the competition it's just to say look at his teammates look at his teammates and this is a great catch and shoot guy this is a great jump shooter I mean my goodness all he gotta do is hit his jumpers against one man or wide open so I'm with you this does nothing to move him up I I don't know where he is exactly I, I got Kevin Durant in the 20th range I don't know, somewhere between 18, 17, 16, and 22, maybe. I I don't know exactly. But I don't think, I don't care if he averages 23 in these Olympics and we win gold. It's not going to move him up one spot in my rank. All right, y'all. So, Rob Parker is heated right now because, as he's on the clip of the show, y'all, he's saying that Kevin Durant is not the greatest player of all time in the Olympics. And uh, a lot of people are actually claiming that Kevin Durant is the greatest Olympic player of all time. And the reason why is because we started performances in Tokyo 2020 where we played a pivotal role in securing gold medal for Team USA. This achievement solidifies the red legacy on the international stage and sparked debates among fans and sports analysts in its place when it comes to the Olympic history. So a lot of people are doubling down and saying that KD is actually the GOAT and the greatest Olympic player of all time which Parker vehemently disagree with. And the people who support Kevin Durant, they're pointing to his consistent excellence when it comes to Olympic Games. Uh, the foundation of his argument, or rather this fan's argument, is that Durant has participated in three Olympics, 2012 in London, 2016 in Rio, and 2020 in Tokyo, winning gold medal in each. Um, you know, he's a good scorer, leadership, and ability to perform under pressure have been instrumental in Team USA's success. And Durant is all-time leader scorer for USA's men's Olympic basketball team, surpassing legendary players such as Carmel Anthony, LeBron James. And uh, Parker, he's saying that even though KD has done all these things, KD is not the best Olympic player of all time. Matter of fact, he's laughing about that. So, I actually want to know what y'all think about this down below. Do you think that KD is the greatest Olympic player of all time? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for tapping in with me. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.